I started a new project where I want to make over my pantry and there are a couple big DIYs that I'm going to be doing but first I had to organize it. So today I'm going to show you how I got back to square one with my little pantry. First things first, you need to grit your teeth and bear it. You need to take everything out of that pantry and go through every single item and make sure it's not expired, you don't use it anymore, you can either donate the platters, whatever it may be, so that's what I started with. I quickly learned that I really do utilize all of our kitchen storage so a lot of our food is stored over by the oven or in other cupboards and this was mainly all my cake dishes, my platters, and my party wear. I designated certain areas of my kitchen to certain items so the island was definitely my party area and then the tables that I had from my Christmas Eve dinner just laying around because I was too lazy to put away I popped those open and then I used them for my food and my baking supplies if you're like me you kind of lose track of what you have in your pantry and a lot of things go to waste so I made sure to check every single expiration date April 16th 2014 that's great after I checked all the expiration dates and the fact that I was too lazy to put these big tables away after Christmas Eve came in handy because one table was food and one table I could lay out all my baking supplies and organize it thoroughly. I think my next step is to kind of try to put the dishware. There's literally like a table dedicated to baking, not even a quarter of a table dedicated to food. Hi baby. And then my whole island is covered in platters. And eventually Paul and I want to turn that into like a DIY glass pantry door. So we want you to be able to see into it. So I'm trying to think if I just organize it so you can see that first and then the foods on the right side and then baking to the left. I guess we just have to try it. After getting a handle on this mess and my brain wrapping around some sort of concept for this pantry, I really just decided to put all the chunkier items like the huge platters, the mixer in first and then work my basket and storage around that. The lighting in this house hurts my heart, but do not worry, I am sketching something up for a DIY pantry light that also will look nice, but give it bright lighting. But that will be in a couple of weeks. Because eventually when I do that DIY glass pantry door, you're going to be able to see these platters front and center. I want to make sure that it's aesthetically pleasing, which that does take a little bit to work out, but have a little bit of patience. Now that the bigger items are in, I had an idea of what kind of bins to grab from my local 99 cent store only, so I went ahead and did that. And then I just organized them into the bins versus like clear jars, because I feel like with a mini human running around and grabbing snacks and throwing them in bins, I don't have to worry so much about the mess since they're covered. No one else in the house uses baking supplies, so I didn't feel the need to label these jars that I picked up from the 99 cent store only as well. The reason being is because, I don't know, I like how it looks without the labels. If you know what it is, I feel like you don't need to label it, and because, again, I'm the only one that uses them, I made that executive decision. <laughs> All the other humans in my house, though, do utilize the baskets that I just organized, so I picked up these frames from my local Dollar Tree, and they're actually kind of hard to come by, so grab them when you can. I then spray painted them a flat white to match my aesthetic. I inserted my label and then the stand I just taped to the back because who knows I might want to actually use these for picture frames in the future if I change my organization up in my pantry. I then added a little bit of hot glue and a piece of velcro, yes you heard me correct, a little piece of velcro with its matching backing. I put the two pieces of velcro together and then I ripped off that sticky piece and added some hot glue then pressed it right onto the basket covering up the handle to make these look a little bit more chic. And the reason I did that is so you can move the labels around so much more easily instead of just hot gluing them directly onto the basket and them just being stuck. You can upsize the basket or go to a smaller one and not have to worry about making a new label. I need to keep my eye out on my Dollar Tree for more of those frames. They didn't have enough for me to finish it, but I still am obsessed with how clean and crisp everything looks. Thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way through this organization video. And I apologize for the lighting, but do not worry. I have two DIYs that are going to finish this pantry completely and totally make it look like a new space. Stay tuned.